Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Breathings. Today, I am so excited to share with you the first look at the EC monthly planner for 2022-2023. This is by far my most used, most beloved Erin Condren product is the monthly planner. I'm also just gonna take you through my launch day haul and some of the things that I got, but you guys are gonna be getting two videos this week because I also spent all of last week recording a productive week in the life vlog. And that's just taking a little bit longer to edit. So that'll be going up this weekend. And of course you have this video today. So I hope you enjoy them. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join our Hardy's family. And also if you haven't heard the news, HB90 bootcamp is open for enrollment. So you can find all that information down below, but let's get into the main event here, which is the brand new monthly planner launch. So these planners will be coming out on June 7th. So just a few days away, these gorgeous planners are going to be in your hands and I love it. So there aren't a lot of changes to the planner this year, which I'm frankly happy about because the way it is, it's already such a useful planner for editorial calendar, for your social media, for brainstorming. For those of you that are authors, it's such a great planner to use for your marketing and ideas. It's also a great project planner. So if you have one main project that you've been working on, say you've been working on a book or you're working on uh, like a renovation project in your house, or it also can work really well as a budgeting planner because it's basically a planner notebook hybrid. And I'm going to share with you what the new ones look like, but I'm also going to share with you just a sneak peek at how I've been using mine over the years. Um, but before we get into that, <laughs> look at this beauty. So I have been wanting for a while now for several months, this blush vegan leather folio. So this is similar in texture that vegan leather to the a5 binders but this is not a binder it's a folio so basically it has a little pocket in the back that allows you to slide your planner into the back and then it holds your planner for you so it's just a really really nice sort of like combining my love of a5 binders with you know, the actual life planner. And this has been sold out for a while. And so I wasn't able to get it. So when I placed my launch day order, I got not only a new life planner with probably what is my favorite cover of all time from them, this new Hello Kitty cover. Um, but I also got this finally because it was available, but never before available. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the second I opened my box that I got from Sam and Tori at EC, my mouth, like my jaw just dropped because I was not expecting this and I absolutely love it. So they are releasing these vegan leather folios, like covers for the large size. So this would fit the academic planner, the teacher planner, um, the notebooks, the large notebooks, all of those wonderful planners that we've come to know and love in the larger size, the eight and a half by 11, which includes the monthly planner, you can now buy a folio for it. So the construction of the two folios is a little bit different. So they both have the same magnetic sort of envelope style closure. So on the outside, they basically look the same and they're a very, very light blush pink. It's a very neutral pink. It's almost like a tan um, and it's really, really beautiful. And so when you open it, they both have pin loops on the side and then they have that same pocket in the back that has an extra sort of envelope pocket here that or not envelope. That's not the right word, but kind of like a, I don't know, corner pocket. And it's perfect for fitting one of their EC list pads or notepads in. And then on where the difference occurs is really on this left side. So I'm going to take this one and open it for you real quick. So this is similar in construction that you have a spot that you can put your pins in or a ruler or something like that if you wanted to. So I've got highlighters in this one over here, but this one has this sort of um, angled pocket that's 
fits perfectly one of their sticker books. This is the Harmony Colorful sticker book, so that fits perfectly in here. But in the smaller one, you just have two smaller pockets. Uh, actually, there's three, and this is more similar in construction to the A5 binders, which this is the new color blends binder. So you can see this is similar in construction to that, but just like this one has three pockets and this one only has two. So a little bit of variation there. Whereas I would say the only thing that's a little bit strange about this one is I, when I first got it, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this pocket? So there's a pocket here at the top that has a magnetic closure but there's only this much space here that goes all the way across. So you technically could fit a pin in there, but it seems like a strange place to put just a single pin. So I'm not really sure what this is meant to hold. The way that I was using it is kind of like as if there were two separate pockets here. So you've got these cute little snap-in colorful bookmarks. So I could put those here and they fit perfectly. And then if you had maybe like a washi tape card or something, you could put it there. But I, I don't know what this was necessarily intended for. So let me know how you might use this or how you think it might have been intended to use. I'm anxious to see other EC insiders or other EC squad that got some of the advanced products to see what they're using it for. I love it, but I'm just kind of confused as to what what this little spot is about. <laughs> but one of the things that I do love about this, um, all of the EC things, the binders and the folios and things is that they have lots of little pockets to put extra notebooks and things. So this also has a front pocket in the back that's big enough to fit an entire composition style notebook, which is really cool. And it adds a little bit of extra construction to the folio itself. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this. I think it's beautiful and I'm so excited to have this larger size because it's just nice to have a pretty cover that I can put my monthly planners in because it kind of protects the pages when it goes into my bag because I put this one in my book bag a lot when I go out writing. Book bag makes me sound like I'm a teenager again. My work bag, my backpack, I don't know. Um, but this planner is the monthly planner. It is basically a planner notebook hybrid. And I absolutely love this product from Erin Condren. And I don't know that I could live without it, to be honest. I use it for so many things, including my editorial calendar. And this is where all my brainstorms and all of my outlines for all my videos and everything goes. So just to walk you through it, of course, you have the interchangeable cover. Then you have the monthly planner page where you write your name. And then you have this gorgeous spread that has the Harmony Colorful. And just to let you know, this planner will be coming in Harmony Colorful, Harmony Neutral, and In Bloom, which is the floral design. It will not be coming in the Color Blends design. And in terms of sizes, it's going to come in the 7 by 9 and the 8.5 by 11. So there won't be an A5 version of this this year. I'm hoping that maybe next year there'll be an A5 version of this, but actually I like the larger size better for the monthly notebook because it gives me so much space to make notes. Uh, but just to let you know, in terms of the coil, the black coil will no longer be available. So you'll be able to get this uh, platinum color, rose gold and gold will be the choices for that. In terms of the prices, the base price for the monthly planner is $40 for the smaller size and $45 for the larger size. It's a little bit of an upgrade to get a gold coil or a rose gold coil. And the other upgrade that I love to this particular planner is that you can pay a little bit extra to get extra notes pages added into the back that are either, I think it's either 20 note pages or 40 note pages, or actually it might be 40 or 80 extra notes pages. And in the past, you could get lined pages, productivity pages, or like dot grid or maybe blank. So you get your choice of what kind. I don't have confirmation that you'll still be able to do that, but I'm assuming it'll be that way because it's been that way for the last few years. So it can go up from that $40 price, but it's worth it to add the extra notebook pages. I'll tell you that right now. So in the Harmony Colorful, we have this beautiful, very like saturated gemstone colors and or jewel tone colors, which I love. And then the Overview calendar is extremely minimalist this year. There's no designs at the top or anything. And I really like that because it allows you to really just, it's a blank canvas really. And then there is, as always, this one does have some 
stuff at the top. And then you've got 12 boxes here. If you wanted to track anything in particular or any memories in the front or your goals, then you have, basically we get in right into the monthly planner part of it. So you've got the tabs that have the month that go straight to the monthly spread. And then you have a blank note page and the dashboard. And then after that, you have four full double-sided note pages, one, two, three, four. So this is the same as last year. And for me, this is plenty of pages for the month. Um, and then that's why I add some extras to the back. And that is basically the entire planner is like this. So it's a combination of a planner and a notebook because you have the monthly spread. This is why for me, it's been perfect for my editorial calendar because I can look at this and I can say, okay, when do I have videos coming out? I'm gonna to try to get them out every Sunday and every Thursday. I've got courses running from here to here. I've got a podcast I have to appear. So I can see my schedule and my editorial calendar for the events that I'm doing and for the videos I'm putting out in an overview calendar that has none of my personal stuff on it. It's just for those events. And then I've got plenty of space here to write out outlines and checklists of my video process of brainstorming. When you guys write in and say that you have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see, that all goes into this planner. And I can keep all my outlines for my July videos in this one spot. Like even when I'm creating let's say a word count tracker for NaNoWriMo, all of my sketches and everything will go into this planner. And one of the reasons that I love the monthly planner for that is because it allows me to keep all my notes. I can see the overview, but then I can keep all my notes in one place and it becomes a focus tool for me. I tend, if I have like, I run kind of two careers. So if I have my writing notes and my YouTube notes, all in one place, I start to not be able to focus my mind in on, okay, what's happening with the video this week? Cause there's so many other things that are distracting me. So I like to keep a monthly notebook or a monthly planner for my heart breathings, YouTube channel, and then a separate one for my Sarah Cannon books and YouTube channel over there. And so if any of you have multiple brands or you're looking to really find a place where you can keep all your notes for your social media marketing or your videos or your promotional calendar or anything like that, it's so helpful to have something separate from your main planner where you keep all those ideas because it just really allows you to, every time you open up this one planner, that's all you're thinking about is your promotions calendar or your editorial calendar. I don't know if I'm explaining that really well, but it's just for me, it's like, I know that when I pick up my heart breathings notebook, my plan, my monthly planner, that that's what I'm going to focus on for that period of time. And there's no other distractions. And I just really love that. So I'll show you an example of that in a minute. So then when you get to the end of the month, you have the next month's tab, the next month's spread with a notes section, the dashboard page, and this is, I don't really use this to be honest too much, but this is a great place that if I did keep up with it to maybe write out the names of the videos that I wanted to have coming up this month, or, um, you know, this could also work for a really nice journal, like a manifesting journal, Bible study notebook. There's so many things that you could do with it because you basically have unlimited ideas. Anything you could do with a normal notebook, you could do with this. And I just love it. I love it. So September is purple. I love this one. I think September is going to be my favorite month of the year. So you follow all the way through to the end of the planner. Now, if you just get the base planner and you don't add extra pages to it, you basically just, the planner ends at the end of those four pages. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So yeah, so you get the ones for June of next year, and then you just have a calendar of heritage and awareness observances. You have an overview of 2024, and then you have some sticker pages here with some like tab stickers, two pages of those. And then you have this beautiful metallic folder. I love this folder so much. And then you've got the end of the planner, which of course, if you get the large folio, you'll be able to just slide into the back really easily there. And now it becomes your 
holder for your planner. So I highly recommend if you get this to just go ahead and pay the upgrade to get the extra notes pages in the back. Because for me, the way I like to do it is I'll put all my information here. But if I want to pre-plan for um, like a course that's coming up or anything else that doesn't have a necessarily like a month attached to it, I like to have those extra pages in the back for some extra brainstorming. So that is a look at the beautiful new monthly planner and this gorgeous vegan leather folio. I don't actually have a price for this, but as soon as all of these products go up live on the Erin Condren website on June 7th, I will update this video with the new prices and links, but I will go ahead and leave a link down below to the main Erin Condren monthly planner page that will be updated as soon as these go live. And as always, I would certainly appreciate it if you would shop through my affiliate links. If you decide to buy one, it really does help out a lot. So I appreciate that. Now I will show you just an example of how I use mine. Um, now when I was on the road, you know, we've just recently gotten settled in a new house, but when I was on the road, I was only using the smaller size, but I do prefer that larger size for my editorial calendar. Cause it gives me so much space for notes, but this smaller size is fine too. It's just a matter of like, what do you want to lug around? So this is last year's planner. So as you can see, I can have an overview of just my YouTube events and any holidays or anything like that that I want to do. And I love being able to see just that on the monthly calendar. As always, I don't really use this page. I had intentions of like maybe writing out my social media, but I just didn't get to it. But I have like video ideas list, a complete outline of what I wanted to say in my Kanban board reset. I have some different uh, journaling that I'll do in here about what's coming up. I have different ideas about pricing and brainstorming. And I also had an idea of what I might want to do with my social media based on a webinar that I went to. And then I did a, a massive pen test on here. <laughs> so it's like you really just get all of these pages that you can use. Now I did actually go through and I'll, I'll have a video coming up about this where I tend to Franken plan some of mine where I uncoil it and I add some extra notes pages in. So I do have six note pages here instead of four. But when you order yours, it will only have four. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how I use this planner because it has been so awesome for me. When I decide I want to do a video like how to conquer your fear of self-publishing, I can sit down and get all my thoughts on the page as to what goes in that video. I was thinking of starting back my great ideas series. So what other type of stuff that could I talk about? What other videos might I want to make? Getting back into my novel after a break. There are so many things that you can really do with this monthly planner. And then of course you can add in the extra notes pages in the back to use for whatever you want. So including Evie being able to draw on it apparently, which happens a lot too. So I highly recommend if you've got any kind of project or you're planning your social media or editorial calendar that you try out the monthly planner because it's like a lifesaver to me. I think I use no less than three or four a year, which I know sounds excessive, but I love it because I like to have one for Sarah Cannon and everything that goes on with that brand, one for Heart Breathings and everything that goes on with that brand. And then I currently also have one that I'm using for the entire relaunch of my Publish and Thrive course, which has a lot of like outlines and things that need to be separate from my normal videos. So right now I have three that are in the works and I use them almost on a daily basis. So it allows me to sort of compartmentalize my tasks, which helps my mind focus quite a bit. So if you're someone like that has a hard time focusing in on which task you're doing, using separate notebooks might be a good hack. It's worked for me. Okay, so let's get into some of the other things that I was able to snag in the Erin Condren launch. One of them being this A5 size with the Wonton and a Million Jade cover. I had to grab this and really, I mean, I know this sounds funny, but it's like I don't necessarily know what I'm going to do with this planner. I'm going to be doing a mid-year planner lineup. So by then I will have decided exactly what, but I've never had an Erin Condren planner. I've had notebooks, but I've never had an Erin Condren planner that was this size A5. And I really wanted to try it out. So the one that I got is the color blends. So you can see the saturated colors here and then the minimal calendar, and then got this little um, 12 boxes again. What, the one that I got in terms of layout is the horizontal. 
And I think it's limited what you can get in A5. So there's the horizontal and then there's the compact vertical. And I can't remember if there's anything else, but I know you can get those two in the A5 size. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna use this yet, but I was thinking maybe it could be some kind of daily journal. At one point I had started doing some scripting planning where it's like I would write out how I wanted my day to go. Like I, here's the five things I wanna get done and I can't wait to get, you know, how it's gonna feel and so forth. Um, and I didn't stick with it, but maybe I could do it again this time. But I definitely am going to be brainstorming ideas to use this planner and kind of revamping some of my planner system to give this A5 size a try and see how it goes. But I really do love the A5 size in general, and I'm so glad that they're now making it. And not every cover on their website is available in this size, but they do have more and more. So how cute is this one time in a million cover? I just love it. It's so, so cute. So that's one of my planners that I got in the EC launch. And then the other one that I grabbed is just the typical vertical in an, um, Harmony Neutral. So this Hello Kitty cover is one of their newer ones. It's called Cruisin and I just love it. I want, I need to get it in the large size too because I love it so much. But I got the Harmony Neutral Vertical. So this is the vertical layout and you can see in here the more pastel type colors. And it's just very chill and very pretty. I feel like it's very elegant and it looks so nice inside this blush folio. And then there are some Harmony Neutral washi tapes as well. I haven't opened these yet, but these look so nice. You've got, of course, you guys know I had to get all the washi tapes. So this is the Harmony Colorful, the Harmony Neutral, and then the In Bloom washi tapes. So you can kind of see them all stacked here together. Um, since I'm going through some of my haul here, I can also show you that I got this to-do list washi tape and I haven't even like really unboxed it yet or used it, but let me open it. Okay, so you can kind of see that it's just got these colorful boxes and then you can cut it off wherever you want. And it makes a nice little checklist that will fit, like I think it will fit in the notes section of the monthly planner. Yeah, so you could put it down here in the month section. The lines won't line up exactly right, but it does fit in terms of the width. So that's kind of cool. I thought I'd give it a try. And it would also be really good for that monthly planner if you wanted to have a checklist on one of those pages or kind of turn just the regular note pages like this page into a checklist. You could put this down one side and I think that would be an easy way to do it without having to like draw all the boxes out. So here is a look at how beautiful the Harmony Neutral is. It's very like neutral and light and there's not as much color on the pages when it comes to these tabs. And I think it's just divine. Like it's really, really beautiful. And there's just something about it that speaks to me. It's like the muted pastel colors. It's a very calming kind of planner. Whereas when I got this color blends planner, I don't have the inserts in it anymore because I used this for the entire month of May and loved it. But this one is very energetic and bright and exciting. But the Harmony Neutral is very chill and elegant and I love it. And I feel the same way about the in bloom, though I don't have one of these planners. I might, since I know I use multiple uh, monthly planners, I think I'm going to get one on launch day that has the in bloom since it's going to come in in bloom as well. So this is how lovely it is. Very minimal and like light design. It just looks so nice with this binder, with this folio for the months. And then you just have a little touches of color on the dashboard. And then the actual spread is very neutral. There's no color on this at all. And I like the big bold font up here. This is probably my favorite vertical layout they've ever done because it's so minimal, but I really like the fonts that they're using for the numbers that are so nice and big. And I just, I love this. So if you're wondering how am I planning to use this, I always use the vertical planners for memory keeping for my family. And I don't usually share that with you guys just because it is like personal and I wasn't sure how much you guys would like to see a plan with me for my memory keeping, but definitely let me know down below if you'd like to see a plan with me for how I track my family memories. Um, now I got the 18 month because the 18 month planner comes with a larger coil and I tend to really bulk these up with pictures and sticker kits. So I probably will be undoing the coil. <laughs> 
I know that's so extra and please don't feel like I'm saying everybody else should do that, but I'll probably undo the coil and take all of these months out through January. And I will only use this as a January through December planner, but it will just get bigger and bulkier on this coil because I'm going to be adding so many stickers to it. And then I will just repurpose these pages in a different Franken planner. So I'll share with you guys how I do that whole process. But if you've been interested in seeing the difference in the color tones and different stuff like that, you can really see the difference in the brightness of the color blends versus the very neutral of this harmony neutral color palette versus the bright colors of the harmony colorful so you really get to see them kind of all side by side there but if you go for the harmony neutral in any of your colors including the monthly planner i highly recommend this blush vegan leather folio i hope it hasn't sold out again because it's just so lovely so the other thing that you can find in the back of this planner after the main planner pages is you've just got a few notes pages and you have some really pretty neutral stickers gosh they're just so beautiful and some stickers here and then the metallic folder at the back has um, has silver instead of the gold. And then as always, you get this perpetual calendar. This comes with all of their life planners, but this will not come with the monthly planner. So just so you're aware. And there is of course a little pocket at the back, just like the other one. So this will be my family memory keeping. I'm not sure what this uh, horizontal will be, but I will let you guys know when I do my yearly, um, my mid-year planner lineup, which is coming soon. Okay, so I told you guys already that I got all these different washi tapes and I also just went ahead and got this flora washi tape from last year. So this is last year's floral design. Um, in terms of pins, I also grabbed these colorful gel pins and I haven't even used them yet to do like swatches. So if you guys want to see that, I might do that over on Instagram, but I've heard these are really nice. They're just like colorful gel pens. I have opened it, but I'll just kind of give you an example of one of the colors. So we'll pull this green out. It does write really smooth. Oh, it has like a triangle barrel. So that feels really nice in your hand. And it's a very, uh, kind of reminds me of a Muji gel pen. So this is pretty nice. So I'll probably swatch those colors. I like that kind of um, olive green sort of color. Also, this is something that Sam and Tori sent me is these dual tip dual ink markers. And I actually already bought these. So I'm going to be giving these away coming up soon too. So these have two tips. You have one that's like a nib tip that is in purple. And then you have the highlighter tip, which is the same color. So you've got a chisel tip and a fine tip. These are the bomb. I love these. So I have been using the mess out of them and I think they're amazing. So sometimes I feel like Erin Condren pens can be hit or miss. So for example, if you purchased another thing that I did get was these list markers. So this is something that they just came out with, which has one side has a plastic fine nib and the other one has like a little list making either a circle or an asterisk. These are both circles. But the problem with these, there's really, I mean, overall, there's nothing wrong with them per se. I want to see if I can find an asterisk. But the problem is that they bleed through the paper. So if you wanted to use them with your Erin Condren planner, not going to work so great. Now for me, I'm actually finding them very useful because I use HP premium inkjet paper that's 32 pound in my regular A5 binder um, that I print my own planner pages on and it doesn't bleed through those. So I think maybe if you want to try these, don't plan to use them in your regular planner, but if you have any like thicker paper that you use for printables, then you could use them. They don't fully bleed through every time, but these are a little bit more finicky. These, however, these dual tip, dual ink highlighter markers with the chisel tip, these are awesome. They have gorgeous colors and I love them. Like I've been highlighting stuff with them. I've been using them almost on a daily basis and I love them. So these are going to be coming up in a giveaway coming up soon for my 50k celebration. So make sure you're here for that on June 9th. Another thing that I grabbed was this beautiful 
Harmony Colorful bag strap. I kind of am slowly collecting all of the bag straps that they have. And so I had to grab this one because it's so pretty. I'm guessing they probably have a Harmony neutral one. So when I order my monthly planner, I'm probably going to add that in as well. And you know, I do have several of the Erin Condren bags, like the clear bag and the larger like metallic suede bag, but I like to use this on a regular backpack or crossbody bag too. So you don't have to just use it with Erin Condren. And I saw Cloetry Plans had like a camel color backpack that she was using with one of the Erin Condren um, bag straps. And I just loved it. So I'll link her Instagram down below. If you're not familiar with uh, Chloe Tree Plans, Chloe, she is incredible. She is a fellow EC squad member and she has a great Instagram and a great YouTube channel. So I'll link her stuff down below, but you can see how she's using her bag straps. I kind of have an addiction to buying every single little mini bookmark that they sell. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Obviously I can only use a couple at a time, but I do rotate them out all the time. So I'm not sure where my third one went, but these are the colorful Harmony. Then you've got these beautiful Etta V ones. And then I bought the green wedding shoes ones, the Harmony neutral and the in bloom. And these are beautiful with the rose gold. Uh, and I just feel like I have to have them all. And they're only like $4.50 or something. If you didn't know, over on the Erin Condren website, all of these are considered accessories, like including the vegan folio. And once you buy four or more accessories, you get 15% off all of your accessory order. So it's really a good deal to go ahead and buy them. And this is a nice kind of inexpensive item that you can add in to help you get that 15% off. Just a little tip. So I also got a couple of different notepads that I haven't actually opened yet, but this is the project planning one. So it is in color blends and it says project details, supplies needed, start and end date, other important dates, has a checklist and then a blank line at the bottom and all the pages are the same. I'm not sure how many pages are in here, but this is probably at least 40 pages, maybe 50. So this is really nice if you have just a specific project that you're working on, like if you wanted to put your videos here or if you wanted to put um, just something you're working on for today and have a to-do list, that could be really cool. And I was thinking I could tape this in um, for some of my video stuff that I'm working on. And then I also got this one that is, oh, what a week, weekly color blends pattern as well. So this just has the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then has one box for the weekend. And this is such cute colors. And I was thinking that this could be just something that sits on my desk that if I have any type of little thing, like something comes up on Monday where somebody's like, hey, can we meet on Thursday? I can jot it down real quick until I have time to add it into my Google Calendar. So this will just probably sit on my desk. So I got a couple of those. And then I also grabbed the In Bloom sticker book, which is lovely. Lots of really pretty colors in all three metallics with these beautiful floral accents to them. These are so pretty. There's so many beautiful stickers coming out from Erin Condren and I love them. I really love the silver floral there. So I got that sticker book. I also got multiple packs of stickers. So I got these Hello Kitty stickers. Of course, you guys know that I'm Hello Kitty obsessed. So I got these sets of stickers. Oh my gosh. I mean, they're just so, they're so cute. Look at these rainbows, like perfect for Pride Month. So, or anytime really, but I love the rainbows and it's got some of the other Sanrio characters like Tuxedo Sam and um, Choco Cat and Bats Maru and Pom Pom Purin. And it's just, it's just adorable. I love it. Look at this little My Melody peeking over the circle. It's just so cute. So I'll probably be getting more of these <laughs> every time I order. Then they now have, if you didn't know, they've always had their, like these are the stickers that come in the back of the planner, but they have extras for you so that if you run out, you can get these extras. They always used to have these in the classic size, but now they're also able to buy them in the A5 size. So I have the color blends um, in the smaller size, and now I also have them in the large size. And then I also have In Bloom and the Harmony Neutral. So let me pull this out so I can show you what these look like. So you've got the Harmony Neutral in 
the circles and then the important flags with the asterisks. So it's just like a couple of extra sticker sheets that you can use. And I think maybe the big one has three sticker sheets, maybe four. So you've got the circles and flags, you've got the today and the habit trackers with the asterisks, you've got the happy birthday sheet, and then you have more of the like box headers. So you get four with the big sheets and you get two with the smaller A5 size. So lots and lots of stickers. <laughs> um, and a few, just a few more stickers are these. So they have that Hello Kitty cruise in design. And this of course you can use in your vertical planner as a full sticker kit. And then I also grabbed this one with the stars on it that I liked. Then I also just got a couple of new covers. So I wanted to support Wonton and a Million for Asian American Pacific Heritage Month. So I grabbed this large size one with all the Wonton and a Million characters and I just love it. I have so many of her stickers so it's nice to have a cover. And then I couldn't resist this watercolor cover as well. So this comes in a like a regular and then also a pastel version. So that I think is not even everything that I ordered on launch day, but it's close to all of it. So there it is my launch day haul from Erin Condren, as well as a look at the brand new monthly planners. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used a monthly planner before, if you're thinking of grabbing one, and certainly I would appreciate it on June 7th. If you could use my link to shop the store, I would certainly appreciate that support here as well. Thank you again to Sam and Tori for always including me in the EC launches. It means so much to me and brings me so much joy. And thank you all for showing up to see all the planner goodies. Even if you um, are not planning to purchase anything, hopefully you enjoy taking a look at it. I will be back on Sunday with a video about a productive week in my life. So definitely check that out. It's going to be a bit of a longer video, but hopefully give you lots of good planning tips of how I actually use my Kanban board and my goal setting system to get more done. And if you want to come join us, my HB90 bootcamp is open for enrollment and we start on June 12th. So come join us and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.